Hi friends, I think uh, this lighting is enough. Um, let me read. Some of these Americans are writing to Kumar. So there is nothing. Friends, now it is uh, 3.50 a.m. Uh, East Coast time. So what they are writing is, uh, oh yeah, um, find out the other than Google search uh, tactics of Christian missionaries in India, immunization that pay individuals for convers conversions. They do pay a lot to train people to convert others, um, to send them to send them in mission trips to other countries. So they motivate them more by teaching them it is their duty as Christians and by telling them they will go to hell if they are not good Christians. Those fewer religions there were where people uh, do not have great faith, it seems to want to convert everyone. The Buddhist used to do it when Buddhism is new. The Christians and Muslims do it. But the older religions like Judaism, Hinduism, Taoism, I have to re read about it, T-A-O-I-S-M, Taoism, do not do it. It has um, I have seen it with students who are new to um, gurus also. When they first meet the guru, they want to convince everyone that guru is great. But later, as their faith grows in their masters, this becomes uh, less important. This becomes uh, less important. It is because they, do, they don't have strong faith that they believe convincing others will increase their faith really they need to practice their own faith it is easier to try to help others though many times than it is try to help ourselves those who were first sent to india from europe to translate the vedas or sent by the churches to convert people the translation in many cases were written to make Indians hate their own tradition and accept the church. Though many of those translators were impressed by the depth of the Vedas and were converted to Hinduism. So Christians converted to Hinduism and though they, their mission is to convert Hindus to Christians, many misconceptions are still there for Indian people because of this easy uh, translation, er, sorry, early translations. Thank you.